Hi, it's Kyle Carverline with Bluegrass International in Georgetown, Kentucky. Um, it's a little windy in the bluegrass today. <laughs> Blow my hair all over the place. Um, but the, uh, I'm here at Whispering Hills RV Park in Georgetown. They're literally less than four miles from our dealership in Georgetown. Uh, a lot of people that come here bring service to us or help, you know, ask us to come and help them with maybe some issues that they're having with, I mean, any type of motorhome or RV. It doesn't have to be a Renegade Pacific like the brand that we sell. Uh, but it's a great stopping point off I-75 if you're traveling places. I know they get a lot of people coming from the, you know, Florida to Michigan or Michigan back to Florida because it's just a, it's an awesome, nice, clean campground right off the interstate. But I'll do a quick tour of the campground and just what the kind of amenities are here, uh, just so you know what you're getting into if you want to stop by. So here you can see the road that is coming in towards the campground. So when you when you pull in, of course they've got their dumpsters over here to the right for garbage, um, and then that is their check-in office. You'll pull in to the right, and of course you'll check in. Everybody here is so nice. Amber, the owner, we love working with her. Uh, we do some advertising with them, and, and of course have an event here in October. Uh, we're doing a renegade rally, uh, um, but super nice. They get you all checked in and taken care of. Of course, right here they have a, like a swing area with one of the solo stove fire pits that they use at night, a huge checkerboard, um, and of course also a chess. So I mean, t you know, lots of activities, even though it's just an easy stop along the interstate, great place to come visit. They got a pool with a slide. Of course, they've got rest uh, restrooms located throughout the RV park. I, you know, I've stayed here before myself. I mean, they have very nice facilities. They have several uh, pull-through spots. Uh, of course, you have full hookup, 50 amp, 30 amp. Uh, like I said, some pull-through for the most part. They can accommodate several 45-foot units if you do have one of the larger motorhomes, whether it be a big Class A bus or a Super C. You know, when, when you book with them, you know, you basically just, you know, when you're booking, I, you know, you have this size unit, you know, you want to pull through or back in, and then they'll put you in a site that'll accommodate you the best. There, I mean, there's really not a bad site here by no means. It really just comes down to, you know, they're putting you in the site that is correct for your length. I'll go down here. This is kind of like the lower area of the campground, a big Integra right here. Uh, just for reference, like that site right there on the end is 224, and it is a pull through. You know, the 226, the one that's empty right here. What are they, matching Integras? Uh, 227, 228. Must be like an Integra thing going on. It's like. Three, three amp, three anthem side by side. Uh, two thirty with the bird there on the post. Of course, two thirty one, two thirty two. So these are down on that lower level. Like you can see, they keep the place well manicured. You know, uh, some of the sites have like a little patio area, the picnic table, fire pit. You know, this site right in front of me, two, uh, 221 is where that fifth well is. 220 right here in front of the restroom. 219, 218 right here. This uh, Forrester is 217. This Tiffin is 216. Oh, sweet, look at it. We got a couple Renegades right here. A Renegade here in 215. That's an XL, and we got a Verona here in uh, 214. Woo woo! Um, of course, this pull through 213, 212, 211 with the Cedar Creek, 210 with the Tiffin, 209 with the Solitude fifth wheel, and then we'll, uh, I'll come around the other way so you can actually don't fall fall down here trying to shoot my video. That starts with site 164 there on the end. You can see they just kind of go down through the middle there with the pull throughs. The stud star here's in uh, 168. Of course, with, uh, this is like in the back end of the RV park. 
170, 172, of course 174, and then 176 right here with the fifth wheel, the Fusion 178, 160 with the Jeep out front here. And then, of course, you got this back row along the trees. These are, you know, back end sights. 194, 195, 196, and 197 right here. Of course, 199. That Mallard is in 201, 203. 205 and then this Montana fifth wheel on the end is in 207. Nice and breezy up here. Uh, of course this RV park's really nice. Uh, I like the fact I'm a nature person myself so and I love the outdoors and so anytime I can find an RV park where I don't feel like I'm in the middle of a city uh, that I feel like I act, you know have a little bit of nature around me you know trees um, you know, it's like you're actually getting away. Uh, this is definitely one of those nicer places that you can go. And I don't want to quote their rates uh, just because it could change with time with my video. Uh, but I mean, their rates are extremely reasonable. That's 190, you know, back in sight back here along the back row along the trees. 188 right there. 187 and then you got your uh, last really large uh, concreted back end down here is 182 and then of course they've got uh, a couple dog parks throughout the RV park uh, we can let your dog get some exercise and run and then down here along the bottom row like you got uh, 96 for a back end 94 you got some back ends on the right hand side. That's 95, 93. Uh, I just like referencing some of the numbers just so you kind of get an idea. If you ever, if you look at their map, you can kind of tell where I'm at in the video. Uh, 88, 87 on the right. They've got a nice big concreted area down here with inflatables uh, that they do for the kids. One of those big bouncing pad things, which is really cool. Uh, so definitely an awesome space that they have for you know kid activities. They do have a pond down here. They have a basketball court and playground you can see in the distance. Get a little taste of the Kentucky horse farm culture with the barns in the background. 66 over here to the left and 64. But definitely a, a great, oh, I got a little geese over here. You got these sites, 55, 53, that back up to the pond here. But no, definitely, a, I mean, this is a great little, I mean, I use Whispering Hills all the time for customers that are coming in to take delivery of RVs because one, it's three, like three and a half miles from our, from our, um, dealership and so like if I you know I do a lot whenever you take delivery of a brand new RV from us the typical walk around lasts like four to eight hours depending on what your like level of knowledge is for a motorhome and then of course it's a lot to take in in a short period of time and so I, I like encouraging people to stay somewhere close by so that like that night when they actually get a chance to be in the RV and like use it that I you know if they have any more questions or want me to reshow them something I can just drive over where they've got their RV parked and hooked up and I can do that they've got this really nice event space um, you know with the garage doors that open up in the nicer weather days uh, we're actually going to use this in October uh, one for dining but also um, to do some presentations like from Allison and Cummins and then this is site four here along the, the pond or lake. I'm not sure what the exact definition of a pond versus lake is at what point, but what, either way, very beautiful, nice area. Site 10 right here with the cougar in it. And then I'm get, this is kind of getting back towards the entrance as you're coming in. You got site 16, 17, and uh, 18 over here.
but they definitely have a ton of accommodation in the campground. Here's a super nice uh, suite. I always enjoy seeing the Airstreams just because they kind of have their own little culture of their own. There's actually a few Airstreams over there. But that gives you a pretty good overview of the RV park, just so that, I mean, hands down, like you're traveling on 75 and you're in this area, like this is by far the most convenient, cleanest, you know, RV park that you can stay in, um, in this area. And of course, if you need, we, you know, we do mobile maintenance and stuff. So if you, you're over here and needs to look at an awning or something, we're happy to try to help out. You know, we're pretty quick on that stuff. We don't, you know, we're not weeks out on work. Like we can usually get to something the next day if you really need our help. Once again, my name is Kyle Koberlein. I'm with Bluegrass International. I'm part of the sales staff. Uh, we're happy to help customers in any way we can. I hope you enjoyed this video of the campground. Uh, if you ever have any questions or need anything, just feel free to reach out to us.